In this exercise, we are going to create more measures. We are going to add the measure to existing model. So let's see how this is done. We open our BFO Dynamics instance. We go to the Customize, Manage Transaction, and select the Business Area and Transactional Table, or FACT, and um, select the columns or fields that we want to source to be a source of our measure. So it's very good if we put a filter on the data type because in most cases we already have the measure that is there. So now we are looking for some quantity. So let's add the data from transactional table. So it's going to be a quantity and um, we are going to add some more amounts. So let's look for a line amount, tax, discount amount, commission. It's not so common. We are not going to add measures from the header because the measures are most cases always coming from the lines. And let's see if there is something else. Line discount, okay, can be percentage is not because we want to create percentages. Unit, the price per unit, not. It has to be calculated. So this is how we would do. If we know what we are doing, we can add more measures as markup uh, or remain or uh, others, but uh, just be careful with the namings uh, so that you can have the right name. So we add discount amount, then we add it line amount uh, tax and uh, line discount. Okay, so adding measure is simple. We don't have no business in the manage dimension area. We didn't add any dimensions. We just select a friendly name. This is going to be discount sales discount amount. We should definitely write the prefix of an application area because discount amount can be in the retail, in the purchasing, or anywhere else. And don't forget to clear up the caches which are coming by default. So this is going to be a sales tax amount and clear up the uh, caption in here, line discount, I just put sales line discount. You see, you cannot continue with our development if you have error in the model. And this is just telling you, hey, there is another measure with the same name. So if we put the unique name, that's fine. Sales uh, quantity. Let's just update the model. Now we have to include also the stage because we selected the new measures here. Let's see if this is done already. This is the demo model, it's fine. Refresh the model. And we have more measures here. So let's just uh, double check this measure. We can drop the previously created time intelligence and just bring in the sales quantities, sales tax value, and um, discounts, line discount is the same. And yeah, we created uh, these measures here. Okay, so this is how you add a measure from a data warehouse.